Okay. Babushka. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? I got <laughs> shot! <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> sh scream in 50 cent. <laughs> I got shot in the face! <laughs> I... Even I can see that. I told you not to bring your trouble with you, policeman. We've got troubles of our own here. Mm. Though I suppose you took the worst of it. Turns out you were your own ill omen. <laughs> the woman chuckles to herself. This is no time for jokes. Can't you see I'm in pain? I guess you were right. The men with the guns were coming for me after all. I'm not sure those were the loss of the men with guns either. There are always more coming for your kind, officer. Fair enough. Kids? Wait, hold on. What updated? Ask the twins and go to the island. Okay. Six hours, 52. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Children are stupid. All right, kids. You've been to that island, right? On that island. The one who's busy kicking a stone points to the bay. Yeah, that one. I need to know what's there. No, some other island. Of course, that one. That's, um, nothing. It's just a sea fort and some plants. You can take a raft there. It's great. The boy pauses to think with a finger in his mouth. And, and we make a fire. We make a, we make a fire. I, it's crazy to admit, like, they sound so young. They yep. sound so helplessly, insanely young. Yep. And they're off making fires and taking boats out to islands on their own. Like, they sound five. Yep, they sound older than the kid inside the shack. Right? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, they sound no, no, younger. No, 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 younger, younger. Younger than the kid yeah. inside the shack. Yeah. They sound five. Mm hmm. Gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or oh, not real bullets, empty bullets. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war, but this could be important. Wait, you mean shells? What then? There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. Oh. Your nerve endings sting from the mention of a guy. Uh-huh. They must mean a human being on that island, but it's cut off. Someone lives on the island? No. The boy answers, shaking his head vehemently. Yes. His brother looks at him, then at you. Let's go with his yes. The lieutenant raises his eyebrows and whips out his notebook. Why is he the fire guy? Because, because... The boy pauses to think. Because he asks to put the fire out. The other explains. Why does he ask you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Hmm, maybe... Yes. The other one adds laconically, standing with his hands glued to his sides like a little tin soldier. She said something about the lights? I... I don't know. Did you mean there are electrical lights? He points to the street light. Um, yes. The boy looks at his toes. Is there anything else you can tell me about the guy? Age? Does he live there? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think. No, he lives there. Been there twice, two times. Uh, he doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. Anything else? What does this guy look like? I don't know. How come? We, we ran. He's a 
scared. We shouldn't be there. Your father used to go to that island too, didn't you? Our father killed himself. Don't say that. He didn't. His brother punches him. The boy's eyes well up like he's about to start crying. Is that how that was told when Lillian told us about him going out to sea? Um, he shouldn't have been drinking out to sea and he was found washed ashore? ashore? Yeah, but like, did, did you take that as, like, intentional? I didn't take it as intentional. No, I took it as accidental. That's how I took it too, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, okay. Your father did not kill himself. I don't know. The boy who made the claim finds himself unsure of it. He looks around. Doesn't even have anything to do with this, you. Father isn't the fire guy. You know, other twins pretty smart. Mm Mm-hmm. The two things are unconnected. Your question didn't make sense. Is that all you know? Is there anything else you can tell me about the island? The boy says, rubbing his eyes. It's clear that he has no intention of finishing the sentence. Light, fire guy. We should check up on that island. Children are stupid. <laughs> now you say it. Now you say it. <laughs> so they went to the island. That's that's wild. Like, again, someone that sounds like that, that speaks like that, to think that they're of age to, like, adventure on their own across the ocean, light a fire and come back, like, do all the crazy, dangerous things that, like... Would make your parents freak out. Yeah. You do have to get a sense of um, pushing the boundaries and like learning your map and exploring the fog of war. Yeah, uh, as a kid, it is important. But like seafaring, <laughs> like, that's crazy. Requires a lot, and um, they're still pushing teeth out. But, so, you, but some places you gotta age faster than others. From this conversation, I got that someone didn't want to attract attention on that island. Oh yeah, I'm I'm definitely guessing it either could have been someone we dealt with, or someone we have yet to deal with. But there will be signs of something. Oh, they got lasers. They did have lasers. Yeah, no, they had they had lasers. Oh, the god of dance is back! I'm dancing with the god of dance. Mm-hmm. He dances over to you, moving in a slightly less lame manner. Goodbye, <laughs> Those days are long behind me. She nods to you with respect and turns off her recording device. I got shot in the leg. Ouch. I did notice you limping, but I thought maybe it was your thing or something. <laughs> I'm gonna walk with a limp. <laughs> when I was 16, I used to date this guy who had a limp, but it only showed when he was sober. So I guess it wasn't real or something. I don't know. Yeah, she shrugs, eyes glazed over. Anyway, shot in the leg. I'm sorry. Man, that must suck. Um. Did nothing he to walk say about around it? with his belt buckle around his knees by any chance? Nothing to say about Everard, it seems. Sure. You helped us out. I could... Sure. Did you meet him while you were slumming around with the girls? Hello, What's on your mind? Oh, no, you're a good guy. Yes, what is it? It's all about the work, huh? Yeah. We're done. We're done. One last look. The mother of humanism stands above you. A precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of her body, her face oval and sad. Looks like I can't give this figurine to her. Why? Because she's a stained glass window. That does seem to be a problem. Maybe you meant something else? (laughs) Like what? Is the task still on? I don't know. What are we thinking of? 
part of your mind has gone on to other things already. Only a strange little sadness remains. The mother of humanism towers above you. A wax painting. Why? That does seem to be a problem. The mother of humanism towers above you. What? What are we going to do about... It's... It's still there? <laughs> Just forget about it, man. Hang in there. Da -da. Egghead. Da -da. Jermaine. <laughs> Farewell, kids. Farewell. Oh, man. Hey, they got their club, you know, we can always come back for a wild night. No matter what happens, we made Kim dance. <laughs> it's all that matters, really. Don't you ever forget it. Damn, he was fucking... Such delicate precision. <sighs> Anything else on this blasted rock before we hit the waters? I don't think so. Determining where the shot came from would be I by the... Right. the uh, that was the last spot that we had to check? Yes. So we're going there. Yes. And we did not find the murder weapon yet, Or I guess. the armor pieces. Or the armor pieces. That helmet. Thanks to Kuno. Alright, we're off. Don't sink. A skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. The boat's belly is a shiny yellow color, industrial paint over fresh tar. You see it reflect off the water, along with the factory number, A72, SRR made. This machine represents humanitarian aid from a worker's state on the Samaran Isola. The ROO logo on the engine gives it away. That and a white five-pointed star. This is our pride and joy. We can't fuck it up. Once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle, and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? Please don't turn into a game of Cobra Triangle. <laughs> Have you made it was so hard. Have you made preparations? Closed all your accounts? Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. This banged up old thing? It's the ROOA 72. It'll float. He's too banged up himself to talk, talk with you. You take the engine, Kim. I'll hold the boom box. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 How else do we blast sad FM on our way to the island? You heard me. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. Why not? <laughs> Very cool. Now tune it to sad FM. You know you want to. Sad FM is a radio station specializing in Yo. sad, slow rock songs. You seem to know its frequency by heart. So I guess we're not ready and you have to equip the... The boom box? Will it change something? Let's make sure. Don't want to fuck that up. And Leon is calling me like, where you at? I gave you the skiff, told you bring it right back. <laughs> no, don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking yacht party. <laughs> They never made it. Dude, it would crush her if you were both found floating in the water. She would be devastated. Don't do that. Don't touch that bottle. The skiff floats once you get in. That have you made or remember what the net picker said?
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plug in a mic and just start freestyling into it. Oh. Yo, Portishead? Vibes? More Chiba? Said the thing, yeah. Light motif. <sighs> yeah. We were listening to it the whole time. Yo. That was fire. You know why that always works so well? Because no matter how little you're paying attention, no matter how much you notice or don't notice when movies or media do things like that, it, it's too late. You're already connected to the song and you don't even know it. You, you're hearing something new, yeah. but you're already connected to it. And you have no idea that that's the case. And then when it does happen, if you do it's notice it, just right, it's a it's an amazing flavor. It's an amazing flavor when it happens. And if you don't notice, you might have a little like, hold on a minute, uh, you know. But it's always like that thing where you just you, you you're chained to the future. The first time we heard that song play. Yeah in just the instrumental form and it just takes its time to settle in and it's in there and then you just you come back in and drop it in perfect fucking perfect also that uh that low f that down tempo beat is my style yeah beautiful like the loft shows with the indie bands and just like take nobody it slow. loves me it's true <laughs> <laughs> A sputter of wings. A flock of quails takes off in the distance. Shivers? There is very little wind here today. The ghost is standing still. 
You look at your arms, then the cliffs above you. Let's go. He whispers. Here we go. We can put the boombox away right now. You know, element of non-surprise and all that. That's fair. Yeah, you don't want to round up the building. I'm gonna knock you. <laughs> <laughs> don't call it a comeback. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coming from a distance. From far in the distance, oh. you just see someone peeking from the window, like really far, like, what is that? Oh. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> or just boat on the horizon. <laughs> get the fuck out! <laughs> Sound and sense. Get the fuck out! Put <laughs> your hands in the sky. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> Just dancing up onto the fucking onto the dock. Like, uh, this uh, is the police. Uh, uh. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Uh, let us gun, clip, armor, mm -hmm. hat, shades, <laughs> superstar. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah. I just. Are you looking for that bow knot? <laughs> I mean, I love the long coat, but the city itself provided us with this nice mm -hmm. little goose down jacket. Absolutely. We're going to fucking wear it. North face. A makeshift bridge. The bombs were powerful enough to break the foundation. The rest of the chains trail off into the ocean. The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. This leads to the deep one, Land's End. Ah, yes. So it seems. What do you think it was used for? For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. As a defensive measure, mm. look it off that side of the bay. Oh. Wow, okay, completely controlling water travel. Yeah, lock it from whom? From enemies. Enemies of the commune of Revachol. This sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. Interesting. Yeah, and it's not as... It's like a much more um, controllable situation than putting out uh, um, fucking boat lines. Yeah. Know. All right. Hey. Before we hit the stairs, let's survey our walkable extremities. We cannot go that way, but we can go this way. <laughs> These tires are falling apart. They're at least 50 years old. Nope, no walking in this grass. That bird's looking for trouble. It's just trying to bird up. <laughs> Looks like the obvious is the only way forward. Was there a dock on the stairs? No, huh? A, a what? I, I looked away for a second. I thought there was like a thought that appeared, but maybe not. Attention. Inflammable. Uh-oh. Some fuel has leaked out of the barrel. Black viscous. There's a lingering trace of mazout in the air. Pathway can sit continues, okay. Beautiful melody. The dry grass crackles under your feet as you stop. Far away birds' wings touch the still surface of the sea. What is that flutter? The flock of quail departs. Now more than a hundred meters away. A hundred and two. A hundred and five. Underneath the flutter? On the islet, there is almost no wind. Just the light movement of air through the reeds. Bulrushes swaying on the waterline. Long dried leaves chafing against each other. Like a silent orchestra tuning. 
at the beginning of some major work of great importance to the few who attend to the west what a seamless transition perception starts it by telling you what you're hearing right now conceptualization takes it and kind of throws it into a direction yeah. and shivers goes oh you need me to finish this thought off i'll take the rest to the west a silent hiss see air moving through the needles of a pine tree to the east the faraway roar of the city distant like today's dream before it the sound of sand the low tide filtered through its grains a bird tending to its feathers ahead a low hum the air slowly moves through a concrete box through its ancient slits and cracks resonating hollow a big building beyond that further north air flows out of a pillbox window there is very little there the air cossacks flowers on the meadow absolute silence reeds motionless bulrushes motionless below the silence call the mama takwa <laughs> we are way out now way out in the west no it's just your imagination you can't hear such things kim yes this is where a lesser man would stop to think about the pain shooting up his right leg and into his groin not you you're concentrated on how good job it's pretty silent on this island have you noticed how quiet it is it's really fucking silent on this <laughs> island <laughs> it is is that why we are stopping sorry let's move hmm wait i have to listen to one more thing the lieutenant nods in silence yes this is where a lesser man would i have is that why we're stopping let's sorry let's move warm air from the inside of the building it's warmer there than out here all silence is suspect always this battle says icm you see a star with little specks in it i mean there's literally someone that was called the mother of silence after all mm -hmm. a little birch from the coin operated viewer still holding on ah this is what we looked at no way to get up there the stairs are gone can we walk through this no nope, doesn't seem like it ICM. This feels familiar somehow. Kim, what is the ICM? RCM. It sounds like RCM. Revachol Citizens Militia. A white star. Point to the star on the label. Are those spec stars too? Looks old. What's it still doing here? Insulindian Citizens Militia. It's the official name of the communal army. The black and white army of the revolution. Ah. Uh. Sounds an awful lot like. It does. Why? The RCM may descend from the ICM. May? Really? It's impossible to say. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revachol West was mostly workers and criminals. So the moral intern... I th okay, that's a little muddled. Nice political thoughts rush through your neocortex. Yeah, I'm getting an image of like them taking over and then kind of co-opting the structure of the commune that the commune arts had and then like repurposing it almost. So after the Fioka athlete Sorry. would pant from dragging around his body on a busted crutch, but not you. You're thinking about politics with blood dripping down your thigh. Okay, Andrews. It's kind of hardcore. So you're thinking that after uh, the fall of communism, mm -hmm. the RCM was linked with the moral intern? No, the RCM didn't exist. The ICM did. The ICM. And I'm, my guess would be that the moral intern and their 
ominous black shifts. No, that's the wrong one. Anyway, one of these makes reference to that. Um, that they took over and that the structure of the ICM was just repurposed into the what, earth. What we are now. Okay. That would make sense. What I'm hearing is we descend from the glorious revolutionary army. It's a little embarrassing at 51, no? Maybe we need to rebrand? <laughs> ICM sounds like ICP. <laughs> Very close to International Collaboration Police. Nice and normal that way. I just want to be normal. Right-wing police officer. That's all I want. Just catch your breath. Say one of these things. Or... <laughs> I was leaving that to you. <laughs> this now no one remembers the ICM the connotation is less important each year he bows to inspect the barrel a white star no an upside down star with its horns in the sky the symbol of the commune right are those spec stars too no that's the uninhabited archipelago a DeLorean era symbol of Insulinda, known as the face in the sea. It looks old. What's it still doing here? After 44 years? That's not nearly enough to hide what happened here, Lieutenant Yefreto. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things like this. Old bullets, guns, fuel. Maybe that's why starting fires was a bad idea. Right. Yeah, that is a danger. That entrance looked kind of scary. They all would. <laughs> Have you been able to locate that... Um, that loading screen? Is that the side shot of the village? Because I'm looking at that bridge, and I've been, I've been wondering about it. Hmm... Or if it's just, maybe it's just an, a location. I'm not sure. Well, there's a lot of stuff around here. Mm -hmm. this, this was once an armament rest. Twin cannons were attached here. Medium distance, large caliber. Oh. Okay. Careful. These stairs have collapsed. Books, mostly fantastic and historical fiction. Dishes stained with sauce and fire, a survivor's kitchen. Mm, what's in there? An old cylindrical generator is nested above the ammo lift, with makeshift electrical wiring running out of its side and across the floor. The cables disappear into the wall. To your right. The lieutenant puts his hand on the metal barrel, checking for warmth. It's cold now, but someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Mm, where do these wires lead? Downstairs, somewhere. What kind of generator is this? Liquid carbon. I would imagine it takes mazout. He points to the open fuel cap on the side of the dynamo. Oh, we're familiar at this point. The kind that's favored by vagrants and fuel thieves. It's been a long winter, long and cold. The kind that makes for a badass burning message. <laughs> if anyone stayed here, they'd need a generator. Tap on the side. A hollow ring. The canister is empty. Dust falls from the generator and down into the ammo lift. What does this mean, a generator here? I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. I mean, why is it here? Someone with basic electrical skills has restored it in order to keep the room warm. 
Maybe it's the fire guy. The wind outside picks up suddenly with a faint howl. Inside, it's warm. Yeah. Yeah, no, according to... Okay, we got another skill point to round off on something. Want to hold it? See what happens? Um... Take inland to eight. Inland eight. Rhetoric could go to eight as well, I guess. If we want to look at the thresholds and authority. Let's take inland to eight. After all, we're entering the cave of the Yellow King. <laughs> so right around now would be the time that we look up and see that the ceiling is the universe. <laughs> when the last lights swarm the rocks and the rattlesnakes unfold, you see candles planted on a broken rangefinder. A moth bitten bed sheet keeps the wind out. Books and magazines lie scattered on the floor and on a makeshift cupboard. They are not particularly well organized. Sift through them. Most are soft covers, serialized fantastique and detective stories from the 20s and 30s. This disparate digest includes the classic Animal Adventures, popular depictions of man versus nature by amateur naturalists T. and T. Harpin, husband and wife, widely read by people from all walks of life. Who doesn't like nature? Who doesn't want to survive? Among what is mostly commercial fiction and serialized stories, you find a magazine cathodique for electrical engineering. Then it's back to pulp. Light erotica, an international thriller about circuit benders. Mm -hmm. Someone's made themselves a home. Lieutenant inspects a soft cover. Conceptualization 5. What are these plus? All things communist enraged by commies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a white check. Interesting. Time to buff it up. Damn, commies. Filthy reds. Hmm. Conceptualization. Come on, cons. to be rare. Plus one. Plus one. How's that? Okay. Uh. There's a greasy old spring mattress in the corner, resting on piles of soft cover books. White linen and a pillow are visible under a worn-out caracal blanket. Someone has been squatting here. The linen is fresh, recently washed. How recently? You force the rest of the sentence out through pain, thick as molasses, no longer able to hear yourself wow. speak. Wow. Good thing we buffed that. You know, officer, you can rest here if you are feeling tired. I will keep watch. You could use some rest for what's ahead. Maybe a little shut eye. Just an hour. Okay. You face the concrete wall. There's less light there in the dark corner. Like a dog, you lie there. You didn't realize how tired you were. Your body is still nowhere near healed. Curl up with your knees and close to your chest. The blanket feels cold. The entire room does. Concrete and cold. Minutes pass. Half an hour, maybe. The sounds of the sea beyond grow distant. Your eyelids close. Until... Until... You feel yourself standing up in the darkness, right next to the mattress. Slowly, the world begins to hatch from the blackness. It's evening.
him. The lieutenant's no longer here. Go outside to the beach. Where's the hut? What's going on? The door was here before. Okay, I guess we have to go the opposite way. Damn. Damn. We didn't finish looking at everything. I wanted to examine before progressing. Yeah, good job. The door is still here, closed. It feels strange somehow. You can't get in. All my highlights are gone. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't look at anything. Is this normal? I don't know. I don't know. We might be... It's hard to tell if this is intended or not. Maybe it's possible it's uh, an issue. Seems to be normal. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Found a way. Now this is the island. Yeah, I know how you feel right now. Go down to the chain, there's something there. Are they talking about the chain that we saw at the beginning? I mean, we're in a completely different place right now. Oh, that's one. Walk into the water now. We might be dreaming. You see her footprints on the water. Further. Jesus. Dolores Day. The innocence of humanism, internationalism, and the welfare state turns around to face you. She has an airship airbag in her hand. She seems to be in a hurry. We might be dreaming. You think? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Look on top. Just, Even just repeating it. Video Revishal is back. Rockbuster out of the dust. Okay. Don't say you need to talk right away. 